Have you been thinking about buying a home, but the whole thing makes you nervous because you don't know where to start? In today's video, I'm going to go over the 10 step process of buying a home from start to finish. Once you have the knowledge and the right agent guiding you, I promise it's not so scary. So let's jump right into it. Step one is going to be get your pre-approval. Some people ask, why do I need a pre-approval before I start looking at homes? And that's a great question. A lender is going to go over with you your finances to find out the best budget for you based on your situation. The last thing I would want to do is show you a home you love and then come to find out the monthly payments are above your comfort zone. So just get pre-approved. Next step is going to be finding an agent to work with. Buying a home can be super stressful and of course it's a huge investment. So you want to make sure you choose the right agent to help guide you through the entire process. Make sure to find an agent who gets to know you, what you want in a home, and of course keeps you updated on market trends. And last but not least, negotiate on your best behalf to win you the home you love. So what I would suggest is setting up a call or a Zoom with an agent to really go over in detail what you want in a home, your budget, and your time frame so you're all on the same page moving forward. Step three is the fun part. Set up appointments and start seeing homes. In New Jersey, an agent can show you anything on the market. So feel free to get your list together of all the homes you've found online, send to your agent and start booking those appointments. Next step is going to be make an offer. Once you've found a home you love, it's time to make an offer. Your agent will be able to help you with price and terms based on comparable sales. This will help to ensure one, you're not overpaying for the property, and two, if you're in a competitive market, what you might have to be prepared to go up to to win the property. This is also why your pre-approval is super important. In order to submit an offer, you will need your pre-approval current to be submitted. Once the offer is submitted to the seller, they can either accept decline or counter offer and this will continue until you and the seller have made an agreement. Step five is going to be attorney review. So once you and the seller have successfully agreed and both parties have signed off on the contract, you will enter into an attorney review period. Since in New Jersey all contracts are the same for buying a property, this is when your attorney will go through and add, change, or delete anything that doesn't pertain to the property you are buying. It's super important to research your attorney ahead of time. You want someone that's going to be super responsive and know what to do if a situation arises. Once attorney review has concluded, this is usually when the first part of your down payment deposit is due and you're then officially under contract with the home. So step six is going to be schedule your home inspection. Once attorney review has concluded, the next thing you will want to do is contact a home inspector and schedule your inspection. And although a home inspection can be a little bit costly, it's super important, so do not skip it. The inspector's job is to literally go through the home and find everything wrong that you might not have noticed on the initial showings. They're also going to look for any malfunctioning systems, any structural defects, and of course, make sure that there's no hazards on the property. Once your home inspection has been completed, you will receive a report of any of their findings. That's when you can bring it back to your attorney to either negotiate a credit towards the sale of the property, or you can ask the seller to fix these items before closing. Even when buying a new construction property, I highly recommend you do not skip a home inspection. 
there could be defects with the property that you're not aware of that the inspector will be able to find and point out so it's fixed before you're closing. Step seven is work with your lender to obtain your mortgage. So once the home inspection repairs have either been negotiated for a credit or are going to be fixed by the seller, next would be to work closely with your lender to get them any documents they need to start getting the loan finalized. And that will lead to step eight, the home appraisal. Step eight is going to be the home appraisal. This is to ensure that the property is good for the loan amount the bank is agreeing to give you. Your lender and agent will coordinate a time for the appraisal, and there's usually no reason for the buyers to attend. The home appraiser cannot take any opinions from the buyers, the sellers, or the agents when they do the appraisal. But do make sure your agent does bring comparable sales so the home will appraise for the purchase price. We are almost there. So step nine is title search and homeowner's insurance. So the title search and title insurance will all be obtained by your attorney. Your job is to work on getting homeowner's insurance for your property and submitting it to your lender so everything is good to go. We finally made it. Step 10, closing day. So on closing day, you will do a final walkthrough of the property with your agent before closing. This is to ensure the property is still in the same condition as when you first saw it. It's also a great time if you haven't already done so to check anything the seller agreed to fix before closing. Then once your final walkthrough has gone well, next steps would be to head to closing and sign for your new home. That was long, I know, but I promise you with the right agent by your side guiding you through the entire transaction, it will all be worth it. So let's make 2021 your year of home ownership. And guess what? You don't have to do it alone. I'll be here and ready to help you whenever you're ready to start your search. So shoot me a message and let's chat.